So in the last 10 years, there's been some really fucking good shows coming about. There's been Breaking Bad, Game of Thrones, Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty. That fucking show. And we all know what happened with it. It was a funny show. Kind of funny. We all enjoyed it. We all had a laugh watching it. And then the internet did what it does best. It ruins the entire show. Jerry's hanging out with Doofus Rick. <laughs> oh, this is perfect. I'm not Doofus Rick. I'm Rick J19 Zeta 7. Oh, is that the timeline where everybody eats poop? And obviously we know now that the Rick and Morty fan base has done its own bit and destroyed Rick and Morty as a franchise for people that aren't exactly obsessed with the show, but people that actually enjoy it. But along comes Stranger Things, a fucking quality show. One of my favorite shows, in fact. And there's been seasons Season one, there wasn't anything weird in my eyes. I didn't really see anything pop up on the internet. But season two, season two is a bit different. So what is Stranger Things? Stranger Things is a TV show created by Netflix, which is a science fiction horror film set in the 1980s. It's a really good show, really fucking good show. The story's good, the characters are good, the actors are good. It's all pretty fucking good in my eyes. And recently, as I said before, season two has just come out and I haven't finished it yet. Please, please don't spoil it for me. Please, I've, I've, I've already had nearly everything spoiled. Just, just, just let me have just let me have one thing. And Stranger Things Season 2 has had a bigger reception than Stranger Things Season 1 because obviously it's no longer a new show. People have got high expectations and with massive reception becomes massive problems. The tingles, Twitter is one of the main things that has made Stranger Things Season 2 into a problem with things like this. Excuse me, what kind of water is this boy drinking? Uh, that's a bit weird, that. Uh, it's, it's, just, it's just a bit weird. It, it, only a little bit weird. I mean, I guess we'll look past it. Skin compliments for a 14-year-old. It's 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 kind of weird, but well, in my eyes it's weird, but we'll look past it here. Wait, wait a second. What, what, what's, what's this tweet? What's this tweet underneath it? I don't care what you guys say. His cheekbones are so much more defined and his hair is literally so full and curly. He grew up. He he grew up. Uh, Finn Finn Wolfhard grew up. He's um he's fourteen. He's fourteen years old. I, I I don't think he grew up. Then it gets even more weird. It just gets a little bit more weird. Our friend Emma said, "If he's fourteen, I'm fourteen. Well, that's just that's just a bit over the line. At this point, it's been a bit weird, but now it's just gone to fucking strange. I guess you could say it's it's Stranger Things. Please." Please fucking kill me. And then you go to the Twitter profile of the person who said, if he's 14, I'm 14. And you can clearly see, she's 18 years old. Well, there's now nonces in the Stranger Things community. I didn't even know Stranger Things had a community up to this point, but apparently there's nonces in them. Why does every single form of community and fan base have to have some form of nonce in them? We've now got Hollywood just filled of fucking nonces. Now we've got Stranger Things full of nonces, the commentary community full of nonces. It's just rife, it's everywhere. Every single community has some form of nonciness. Is... Is nonsiness even a word? The best part is, the original tweet got 100,000 likes. Goodbye. And there's even a Twitter account dedicated to Finn Wolfhard. Not, not, not just like an update saying what he's doing, what the new roles he's playing is. It's just literally fucking photos of him uploaded every single day. That's just a, that's just a bit odd. Uh, don't you think uploading random photos of 14 year olds? It, it's just a bit odd. I know you could say, all right, maybe there's some 14 year olds that have a crush on him and at that point it's fine. Yeah, that's true. But there's also a lot of fucking nonsense on the internet and you can't look past that at this point. There's basically a fan account for every single actor in a show, including the child actors. Just some really, really fucking weird accounts dedicated to these actors. There's an account run by a fucking Portuguese person where they've uploaded a photo of one of the actors in a suit. If you translate it from Portuguese to English, it says, stay with our baby in a suit. That's fucking weird. That's not just weird, that's kind of concerning. This kid is 15 years old. And if you scroll down, there's a tweet of a person admitting he's crying whilst he saw this tweet. And oh look, there's another fan account called Cute Matarasu. Oh, another fan account of a 15 year old child actor. That's, that's fucking wonderful, isn't it? You know, even if these accounts are run by 15 year olds or 14 year olds on the internet, it's still pretty weird to me because anyone on the internet can see these fan accounts and just see random photos of uploading them. You don't know who's following these accounts. These kids are 14 and 15. Probably shouldn't be posting around photos of weird captions everywhere. But you just know that Portuguese account was ran by a 47 year old woman just sitting in the slums of Lisbon, typing out on her laptop, just some random fucking ass photos of actors from Stranger Things. She's probably got a whole chain link of all these accounts. She probably runs every single one. It's weird. It's just really, really fucking weird how there's an account Lick to every single actor. I, I, I get people are fans, but then it gets to a point of being obsessed. Even with the adult actors, I just kind of found these accounts quite cancerous. But then again, the cancer of the fan base gets even worse over at Musically. Yes, Musically have done it again. So early in the video, I was speaking about Rick and Morty being ruined by a website called Music, which is basically just a website now where kids just ruin TV and films. And yeah, it's happened again with Stranger Things. Not just Rick and Morty, it's now on Stranger Things. <laughs> can, we, can we just, can we just stop this? It's, it's now, it's now every fucking single show. Every show. It's just, every, can we just, can we just stop it? Practically every single one of the popular music clips is somebody with a wig on and a nosebleed and saying something deep from the show, just like this. Goodbye, Mike. <laughs>
Now, if you don't know why they've got a chronic fucking nosebleed in every single music clip, it's basically because one of the characters in the show called Eleven, when she uses her powers, she gets a nosebleed. And I tell you what, I do appreciate some form of cosplay if it's good, but I don't fucking appreciate this. Let me stop! It's just miserable. It's, ju it's just miserable, isn't it? It's fucking miserable. You might think I'm being a bit of a cunt because I'm being harsh on some kids who are doing what they want to do, but the reality of the matter is I'm, I'm, I'm a cunt. That's, that, that's literally it. And I don't like it when my favourite shows get ruined by some 10-year-old kids on the internet who have to just, just go and spoil it for the rest of us. But it's not, it's not just 10-year-olds. There are some adults that do it. And it gets worse with age, I swear. Even with Rick and Morty, these people who are ruining the show just seem to get older and older. Day night. Bang. Day night. At this point, they're just not even fucking trying, are they? Some dude has literally just put a blonde wig on and put some red ink under his nose, and it, that's all it is. It's it's just it's just shit. It, it just it just is shit. I don't get why it's appealing. I don't get why people do it. Please, please fucking stop it. That's just just finish it there. Final one we're gonna look at. I was I was warned about this one. My friend when he said it to me, because he sent me all the others. He said the others are pretty bad, but this one, it's really bad. Let's just let's just take a look and see how bad it is. Tonight, tonight. Masturbated. <laughs> what? What was that? That I, I, I'm not. I'm not over exaggerating. I fucking hate these kids. I. What is this? Why are you doing this to every show? You, you're getting me emotional. I, it's Rick and Morty. Even Game of Thrones. I, I, what? Why the fuck do they do this? Every single show, there's some sort of thing to ruin it. Please, can you just? Can you just stop? Just, just stop. It's, it's not needed. You don't need to do this. You're not even getting any traction other than from people like me. I love so many TV shows, but they're eventually just all gonna get ruined by this fucking cesspool musically. Can we just get rid of musically? I mean, if, if you're watching this right now and you really, really don't like musically, just go set up a petition. Go set up a petition and we can finally get rid of this shithole of a website. North Korea, why the fuck are we worrying about North Korea when the real threat is musically? Let's, let's just end it. Let's stop it right now. Alright, let's, let's just move on to Tumblr, because surely Surely Tumblr can't be that bad. What the fuck am I saying? It's Tumblr. I was gonna go to class before I got high. Come on, y'all. Check it out. So what do you know, Tumblr is another edge fest of what have taken a load of quotes out of context to make them seem deep and edgy. Isn't that just what Tumblr is at the end of the day? Some random fucking ass taken out of context quote and some black and white gif. That's all it is. Why, why have Tumblr got to attack, attract stranger things? I, I just want one thing to myself. One thing where there isn't an obsessive fan base, a fan base who can just talk. We can talk about the show, but we can't make these things here. We can't make random deep quotes about it on Tumblr. They're even trying to make Chief Hopper deep. You're telling me that Chief Hopper is deep and relatable. The only thing I can really fucking can relate to that man on is that I've got a receding hairline just like him. Fuck off. I mean it's bad but at least it's not that weird Twitter stuff where it gets a bit naughty. Wait. Wait, what's this then? Short fiction. Will asking Jonathan what to do about his crush on Mike. So Will Byers, who is meant to be 12, has a crush on Mike Wheeler, who is also 12. And you're you're writing a, a fan fiction on it. Can we just let these kids have some fucking innocence about them? Can we just stop the photos and the Twitter accounts and all the Tumblr posts, the fan fictions? These kids at the end of the day are like the age of 12 to 15. Just let them live their lives in innocence for a bit longer. I get fan fiction, but I, I, well, I don't. I, I really don't, but maybe I can see why some people do it. But there's nothing worse about romantic fan fiction about 12 year olds. Just, just stop it. it it's just weird. Tumblr is just a very strange place. That wasn't a pun, it just is a weird place. In conclusion, what can we take from today? Well, Stranger Things has been ruined by Twitter, Musical.ly, and now Tumblr. What do we do to deserve this monstrosity? I don't fucking know. I really don't. I just want one show to myself, which hasn't been ruined by a fan base. Rick and Morty and Stranger Things have been ruined by a fan base of people that seem to want to dress up as the characters and make shit Musical.ly. And Game of Thrones has just been ruined by a fan base in general. And The Walking Dead, th does The Walking Dead have a fan base? I, I, I don't know. Does anyone still watch that show? I like Game of Thrones, I like Rick and Morty, and most importantly, I like Stranger Things. So please Please stop ruining it for me people and please stop ruining it for other people as well. That is the end of the video people, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please like and subscribe, it helps me out a ton. Have a good day people, peace.